Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another common retouching issue um, relating to fashion photography that I find to be very annoying to fix and I'll be the first to admit that I don't have great attention to detail all the time and I really should if I'm, you know, a fashion photographer, but I just, unfortunately, that's just me. But this particular problem or issue has come up a lot when I've been photographing over the last few years and sometimes it's not something that I notice until right before I'm about to publish a photo um, online or wherever and it's just like one of those really annoying things that you have to fix but uh, unfortunately excuse this photo it is an older photograph I was trying to look for a newer photograph that I'd done where I had this issue but I couldn't find any for some reason so anyway this video is all about correcting chipped nail polish and when I say attention to detail too I mean attention to detail while I'm on the shoot as well and it's just not always something that I pick up on and a lot of the time it's something that I have to fix in post-processing. So today I'm just going to show you how to get the nail polish looking a little bit better. And hopefully this tutorial won't be too long for you guys, but I'll just get started now. So the first thing I like to do is using the clone tool. Uh, if it's a really small area, this might be kind of difficult, but I just like to zoom right in, get the clone tool, make the brush size obviously a little bit smaller. And then, obviously, I like to make a new layer as well, um, a duplicate of the background layer, because I, as you guys know from watching my other videos, I never like to work on the background layer. So we just hold down Alt and sample a spot that we want to clone. And I like to make my hardness on the brush a little bit, a little bit more for something like this, probably about 60. And make this. I'll make the brush size a little bit smaller and then we clone obviously a moment and the opacity needs to be up to to about a hundred so and then I just like to clone parts of the areas of the nail I don't like to make the brush too sharp because then it's probably going to be obvious that you've done something to the nail um, as I said, if this is like a really small area that you're working on, um, if it's like a shot that you've taken further away but you can still see the chip nail polish, there's probably another tool that I'd like to use in, in those circumstances and I'll show you guys in a second what I like to use. Okay, so I think I'm going to drop the hardness a little bit. I'll keep the brush size about the same and the opacity down just a little bit. Whoops. So I just follow the line of the nail. Sometimes it helps to have a slightly lower opacity just so it doesn't look too blocked in. And I'd like to sample from different areas of the nail, so basically just to get some different tones in there and not make it look like it's all the same color. And I do this pretty roughly actually at first, just to kind of get the basic outline of what I'm doing. So the other tool I like to use is actually the paintbrush tool. So I'll show you guys that in just a second once I've kind of patched in this nail polish. It's definitely something I'd recommend that if you're on a shoot, try and remember the nail polish because it is a bit of a pain to remove or to correct later. Um, and I've done it on like countless shoots. I, I can't even tell you how many times... I've totally forgotten about the nail polish and and that's come back to bite me later on. So just kind of sample again from the bottom there. So 
So the highlights look a little bit choppy at the moment and so does the cloning. But I'll show you guys just how to correct that Oops, in just a second. Alright, so once we've done that, I actually like to make a new layer. So just click on the new layer button down there. And I get the paintbrush tool. And make it a little bit bigger. And then I'll take, I'll sample a color from hmm, pretty much anywhere on the nail where there's a different tone. And then I'll make sure the opacity is right down, probably around 20% and then just run it over the nail and it just will help it to have a little bit extra I don't know maybe an extra dimension make it not look so 2D I guess and just run it over the patchy bits Alright, and you can go back to the background layer, the duplicate that you've made and get one of the healing tools and as a quick fix, you can get the healing brush tool and start sampling and sort of patching up those areas that are a little bit more obvious. And then I like to go back to the paintbrush layer and sort of continue on with doing that. And I like to just slightly run it around the edges too, just so it kind of blends into the fingernail a bit more and into the finger, I should say. And then I like to make another new layer and this is going to be for dodging and burning. So I usually get my dodging and burning layer up now. So Alt, New Layer, Mode, Overlay and tick the box, Fill with Overlay, Neutral Color. Okay, and this is going to be our dodging and burning layer. So I get the burn tool. This is just to add a little bit more depth to it and get the shadow and highlights right in it. So I'm just going to run the burn tool just over the darker areas, the shadowed areas, to help bring them out a little bit more. See how much work this is just for fingernails? So please, guys, remember to just make sure if you've got to shoot, make sure your model's nails are painted and they look good beforehand. It's just so much easier than going in post-processing and doing this. All right. So I'll just run it over a little bit more. And then I'll get the dodge tool and make the mid-tones a little bit lighter on this side. And then get the highlight tool. And then just give it a bit more of a highlight on this side. And I'm just going to go back to my first duplicate of the background layer. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit further and just kind of round these edges out just a little bit more because they still look a little bit too sharp. So. I'm getting my paintbrush tool again and sampling the color from there and then just kind of running it over this edge to make it look a little bit softer. And we'll do all the edges until they look a little bit better. So much effort for one fingernail. Okay. And just get a little bit more. And you can even get the skin tone and just kind of run it over the edge as well, just to clean them up a little bit. So I'm just going to zoom out and see how that looks at the moment. So that's how it's looking right now. And that's how it was looking before. 
so it has kind of brought it out a little bit more um, I'm just going to go over the edges just again to tone them down a little bit because we don't want it to stand out too much and I'm just going to go over the highlights and make them not look so bright And then we'll go back to the dodge layer, dodging and burning layer, and just lighten it up a little bit around the edges. To make it not look so dark on the side of the nail. Okay, and let's zoom out again. All right, so that's the finished product. And as you can see, it looks a little bit better than how it did before. That's the original and this is the finished product. So it's not too bad. I would probably usually spend a little bit more time tweaking it and getting the color right. But um, since it's a little bit further away in this shot, it's not too noticeable. But um, yeah, that's basically how I like to correct nail polish. If it's a beauty shot I'd, and a closer up portrait, I'd always spend a little bit more time on it because it is a lot more noticeable. So definitely if you've got any studio portrait shoots or anything like that make sure the model has nicely painted nails beforehand so you don't have to do this in post processing okay well i hope this tutorial helped you guys out a little bit um as i said this is one of those issues that do tend to pop up every now and then especially with fashion photography so i really hope it helped and i will hopefully have another video up sometime soon thanks guys for watching and i'll see you next